Let's take a quick tour of the 2020 main interface. 2020 screen is divided into several sections. On the right hand side, this is your workspace. This is your drawing area. And you can see there's a piece of graph paper there. And on this graph paper, each block is equal to a square foot. You can zoom in and out very easily by rolling the wheel on your mouse forward to zoom in and rolling the wheel back towards you to zoom back out again. Each block is still equal to a square foot. At the top of your screen, you have items such as file, edit, view, place, and so on. And if you were to click on one of these items, it will give you a drop-down menu of options that you can use in 2020. So if you wanted to place an appliance or an opening or a cabinet, you can certainly choose them from this menu. But 2020 has taken the most popular features, the features that you will use in every design, and moved them forward to give you one-click access to them. Those features are listed in the toolbars. Toolbars are at the top of your screen from left to right, also from the top down on the left-hand side. Now, what toolbars do we have? Well, on the left-hand side, we have all of the standard Windows tools that you're used to using. The saves, the open, the prints, the print previews, the cut, copies, and paste, even the undos and the redos. And you'll be happy to know that when using the undo, it is unlimited. You can, un you can undo an unlimited amount of times. On the right-hand side, this is where you find the renderings. And if you wanted to know what a particular icon meant or uh, represents, you can put your cursor on top of it, and you'll see a little pop-up will tell you exactly what it is. The one I just pointed to was a perspective. On the left-hand side of your screen, you have your walls, you have your windows, your doors, your appliances, your plumbing fixtures and cabinetry. This is another area where you can place items on your drawing. To the left of that, we have three very important boxes. You're going to use all three of these in every design you work on. The top box, this is your information box. You will look here to find previews of the items before you place them. You'll look here to find out how much dimension, you know, what space is in between the cabinet to the left and the cabinet to the right. You'll use this frequently. The middle box, this is what we call the edit box. When you drag and drop items to the plan, this is where you would type in dimensions of the items or placement. It'll give you dimensions left, right, and center so that you have the ability to type in exactly where you want your item to be placed on the wall. And the bottom box, this is what we call the drag and drop box. This is where you'll choose all of your product. At the top of each category, you'll see it's, uh, that it has the catalog name listed. And over here on the right-hand side, see this arrow? This arrow will open up and give you access to all of the catalogs that you have available. I like to refer to this as my spec book shelf. Somewhere in your office you have a shelf where you have placed all of your spec books. We do the same. When we click on our spec book shelf, you'll see that we have spec books ranging from plumbing to countertops to cabinetry to appliances. And here you'll choose the spec book that you want to work with in this instance. If you're ready to change and start working with another spec book, you'll simply reach up to your spec book shelf, grab the spec book you want to work with, and all of the items from the spec book will be listed on the left-hand side of your screen.